Hi everyone, I'm Emma and today I will be showing you some clips that I've put together of a hotel that we stayed in back in April of this year. The hotel is called the Hotel La Tour which is in Birmingham in England. This was our second stay at this hotel and we will definitely be returning in the future due to it being so close to the boring shopping centre and central Birmingham. When you check into the hotel you will be given a card which is the key to your room. You can put this card into the wall which will then operate your lights, air conditioning and also the heating. I'm now going to show you the executive room. We stayed in a city room on a previous day. The only difference that I can find between the two rooms is that the executive room seemed to have better furnishings. As you can see the room is of a good size. It comes with a large comfy bed, nice furnishings and also soft lighting. We found that the room is kept to a very high standard and is very clean. They cater for people who like to read with bedside lamps and they also provide some magazines that contain information around what is happening in Birmingham at the current time. In this room there is a feature wall and the bed actually sits proud of the wall itself. Behind the wall there is a wardrobe which contains a full size iron and ironing board a small amount of hangers, some extra towels and also a full size hairdryer. In the executive room there is a 40 inch TV which is mounted to the wall. I think this helps make the room feel a lot bigger rather than having a separate unit just for the TV to stand on. This room has some extra seating area which is a bonus and also the key features of this room is the telephone system. You're able to call for room service, check the weather forecast, operate the lighting system, turn the do not disturb sign on or off and it also contains some extra information about the hotel that you can read up on. All rooms come with tea and coffee making facilities and in our room there was three complimentary bottles of water. Below there is a separate cupboard to put your belongings away and underneath that there is a safe which is complimentary to use. I must add that Wi-Fi is available in the room and is also free of charge. This was a view from our room and as you can see the Bullring Shopping Centre is not too far away from the hotel. To the left of the Bullring Centre you can see the Selfridges car park. If you use this car park I recommend that you ask the reception staff at the hotel to validate your ticket. This will reduce the cost down to £5 per exit. This is regardless of whether you stay for one night or a week so it's really good value for money. There is a desk area in the room with the added bonus of quite a large mirror and also a lamp. The hotel provides you with details on how to use the technology in the room and also in-room dining information. As this was our second stay at this hotel, it's really nice to have a little personalised note from the manager herself. Next to the desk area is sockets and ports to plug in your electronic devices. The next part of the room tour is the bathroom, which in my opinion is the best part of the room. There is a large mirror that doesn't steam up and a very modern tap and sink. Hand soap, a shower cap and tissues are provided and there is a shaving point on the wall. There is also speakers in the bathroom which links up to the channel that is playing on the TV in the main room. This is a volume control that operates the speakers. As you can see the bathroom is kept to a very high standard and is very clean. There is a modern toilet and also a large walk-in shower. The shower is very easy to operate using the dials on the wall. There is two attachments to the shower, one overhead and the other to the side. There is also a small bottle of shower gel and shampoo provided. There is a gym on site which is open 24 hours a day where treadmills, cycle machines and weights are available to be used. Water and towels are provided and music is played through built-in speakers. Next I'm going to show you what is on offer during breakfast. Breakfast is an optional extra to your booking and hopefully I can help you decide whether or not you want to opt for this added extra. Breakfast is provided on a buffet basis so should you be extra hungry there is nothing stopping you going back for more. There is an English breakfast offered which consists of sausages, bacon, scrambled egg, fried egg, baked beans, mushrooms, tomatoes and hash browns. A selection of bread is available along with a range of jams and a toaster is also provided for your use. Muffins, pastries and croissants are offered as well as a selection of fruit, ham and cheese. A choice of cereals is available and tea and coffee is also provided. Thanks everyone for watching this video, I hope you like it. I hope to provide more reviews in the future so please stay tuned.